fallout of what must have been a wild weekend up north. Fraternities from the University of Michigan under investigation tonight for tens of thousands of dollars in damage at two resorts. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig picks up our story from Ann Arbor. Michigan State Police say no doubt about it what some members of Sigma Alpha Mu did this weekend were criminal acts. This is not the behavior we expect of our students. We're very disappointed. And what several fraternities from the University of Michigan did last weekend was trash parts of not one, but two ski resorts in northern Michigan. One of the fraternities in Ann Arbor is Sigma Alpha Mu. Members coming and going today did not have anything to say about the damage and vandalism Michigan State Police say they caused at the Treetops Resort in Gaylord. But their national executive director told Action News that they are aware of the problem and they're investigating. An excessive amount of partying and way too much fun and uh, created quite a disturbance and quite a bit of damage here for the resort. The general manager at the Treetops Resort says while the damage did not disrupt the rest of their business, they have not decided if they'll pursue criminal charges against members of the fraternity that Michigan State Police had to escort off of the premises after causing more than $50,000 in damages. And we're told similar damage was caused by two other fraternities that visited the Boyne Highlands Resort last weekend. A spokesman person for Boyne Highlands said she did not know the names of the fraternities involved in their damage and while they say they did not have to call police they are still assessing the damage and both resorts expect to be fully reimbursed and U of M officials are also taking it very seriously. We're working with the students and the Greek student organizations that are involved, making sure we have the information correct, uh, making sure that they've reached out to their national organizations to inform them, and then we'll move forward with uh, perhaps through the student judicial process. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.